of class 9 welcome to our online class now <clears throat> i study i teach you the physics chapter motion okay motion what do mean of the motion motion mean we mark anybody can be move one place to another place that is known as the motion in the world everything every moment are the move now i can ask you now i look you you are sitting in a class or you are at home sitting in your any place can you move now can you answer some person or some student can answer no now we are sitting not moving we are sitting in a room sitting on the bed sitting on the chair but no due to all this motion so we are all every moment every time we are moved okay so motion means one place to another place we can be change our place in proper interval of time we can move our place one place to another place in proper interval of time is known as the motion okay so motion are the three types one is the rectilinear motion one rectilinear motion second circular motion and third vibrational motion this type there are the three type of the motion now in the rectilinear motion from one place to direct it can be change our place is known as a rectilinear motion and there another name is the straight motion suppose one student sitting in a one place after some time go to another place suppose in one place the book is present after some times we can change the place of the book that time motion is the rectilinear motion or the straight motion then our circular motion the wheel of the bike wheel of the cycle ceiling fan are moving in a circular motion example of the circular motion and vibrational motion when you strike the tuning fork on the rubber pad and here on our ear and now a day very familiar vibrational motion in your mobile all students can be familiar what is the vibrational motion okay or when the telephone are come you can or the when the train is coming on the track of the railway line you can put your ear you hear the vibrational sound that all are the example of the vibrational now what is the distance distance means now the distance from the one point is the initial point to the measurement between the initial point to final point suppose a is the initial point the measurement between this initial point initial point to final point b final point the measurement between the two point measurement between the two point one is the initial another the final point this distance or this difference between the two point is known as what distance so distance always we measure by the positive okay distance never be negative or zero okay so distance you can be measure with the meter kilometer centimeter this unit these are the si unit of the distance if we can say one object can move from a place to b suppose 50 meter one place to b the 50 meter so distance of the ab is the 50 meter one of that or one person can move from a to b a to b the 50 meter and return back from b to a means 50 plus 50 100 meter he can be moved 
okay when you go from a to b and return back b to a so 50 plus 50 equal to 100 meter and when the person can walk from a to b 50 meter and return back b to c which is only 20 meter then they are from uh, c position their distance is a b plus b c a b is the 50 meter plus 20 meter equal to 70 meter okay these are the our distance but the displacement what is the displacement displacement is the shortest distance of the object from the initial position to final position for example one person is the, our it is our home a student home it is the suppose our school student home is the a student home a school is the p when a student go to school one day the student going through his friend house who is the present at c and go to the school another day the student went to his auntie house then go to the school their auntie house is the deep place here and go to the house and another day the student go through to office of his father meet his father and go to school father office is the here e go to the office then return to school go to school and another day directly you can go through from house to school then which is the shortest distance from their initial position in the house to final position school that shortest distance is a b that shortest distance we can measure from the initial position to final position is known our displacement so displacement may be positive may be negative may be zero how when the object is suppose a position a to b school distance is suppose 5 kilometer suppose 5 kilometer when the student walk from the a to b is a positive 5 kilometer he can be going and after the close of the school he can return back from b to a means school to house that become the minus 5 kilometer so they are total displacement plus 5 and minus 5 equal to 0 so displacement may be 0 okay and one person suppose run from one place A to B is the 5 kilometer and return back 7 kilometer. Return from B to A is the 7 kilometer. Then what is that displacement? 5 plus minus 7 equal to minus 2 kilometer. So displacement may be 2 kilometer. Okay. So this type. Displacement may be positive, may be negative, may be zero. But SI unit of displacement and distance are equal. Centimeter, meter, kilometer, this type, so on. Now, we go to uniform motion and non-uniform motion. Before the uniform and non-uniform motion, we go to the first motion and slow motion fast motion the object we can run more and more that is known as the fast motion and slow motion which can move very slowly that is known as the slow motion then we come to uniform motion uniform motion uniform motion means the object which can cover equal distance in equal interval of time like that mean what is uniform motion the object move or cover equal distance in equal interval of time like that a person move two kilometer in one hour next move two kilometers in one hour next hour move two kilometer in one hour means every hour the object move only two two kilometer that is known hour uniform motion 
but what is non-uniform motion? Non-uniform motion means the object cover unequal distance in equal interval of time. The object cover unequal distance in equal interval time means in one hour the person move 5 km, next one hour person move 7 km, next one hour person move 3 km, next one person move 9 km. This time time interval are the equal but distance are unequal. This type of motion is known as the non-uniform motion. Okay. Now we come to speed. What is the speed? The object cover a distance in an interval of time. That is known as the speed. Speed equal to the object. Object cover a distance. Object cover a distance in a interval of time. In a interval of time. It is known as our speed. Means when the object cover 20 km. Suppose object cover 20 km in 1 hour. 20 km in 1 hour. It is our speed. So speed, distance is the distance symbol we take the S and time symbol we take to the T. So speed Speed equal to distance by time. So speed V equal to S by T. And there are SI unit. Distance is the meter. Time is the second. Meter per second. Or distance the kilometer per hour. Okay. So speed is the distance cover or cover a distance in interval of time. So speed equal to distance by time and they are SI unit meter per second. Okay. Now the what is the average speed? Average speed average speed means object cover total distance in total interval of time. Object cover total distance in total interval of time. So, the suppose object cover 5 km in 2 hours. Another object cover 10 km in 3 hours. And another object cover, cover 12 km in this also hour 3 hours. Then what is the average speed? Average speed means total distance. Total distance 5 plus 10 plus 12 by total time 2 plus 3 plus 3. This means 27 kilometer by 8. This much kilometer per hour. Their average speed is the 27 by 8 kilometer per hour. Is known our average speed. But now we study about the velocity. Velocity, the speed and velocity are the equal definition but slightly different. What is the speed we can be saying? The object cover a distance in the interval of time. But velocity, the object cover a distance in an interval of time in fixed direction. That is known as the velocity. But now we can say what is our velocity? means any object can move each direction 20 km per hour, each direction. So their uh, formula I definitely the same also and their velocity V, there we put the arrow mark due to direction are included here. So this also distance by time and here put the arrow mark and their SI unit also same meter per second and kilometer per hour. Okay, this is our velocity, then average velocity. Average velocity what is? Average velocity, average velocity is equal to our initial speed, 
इनिशियल स्पीड प्लस और इनिशियल वेलोसिटी प्लस इनिशियल वेलोसिटी नॉट स्पीड इनिशियल वेलोसिटी प्लस फाइनल वेलोसिटी डिवाइडेड बाय टू दिस इज आवर एवरेज वेलोसिटी और डिस्प्लेसमेंट बाय टू और डिस्प्लेसमेंट बाय टू ऑल आर द सेम थिंग्स द एवरेज वेलोसिटी ओके नाउ What is the speedometer and odometer? The speedometer which measures the speed of the vehicle. The speedometer which measures the speed of the vehicle is known as the speedometer. And odometer which measures the distance which can be covered by the vehicle. How much distance cover the vehicle is known as the our odometer. And speedometer is the measure of the speed of the vehicle. Okay. Now we study. Suppose a person move twenty kilometer per hour, and another person go to the thirty kilometer per hour. One person twenty kilometer per hour. Another person thirty kilometer per hour. What is the average speed? Average speed twenty plus thirty by one plus one equal to fifty by two equal to twenty five kilometer per hour. It is known our average speed. Suppose what is the velocity or average velocity? What is the our average velocity when the person Going to one place to another place and return back to same place. From going that one place to another place is the ten kilometer means our initial velocity u is the ten kilometer. And return back to the same place means that return also ten kilometer. That return back is the minus ten kilometer. So our velocity means displacement u plus V by two. Average velocity equal to ten plus minus ten by two equal to ten minus ten by two equal to zero kilometer per hour. This is our average velocity. Okay. Now, now we go to the. Ultra. Next class. We study the acceleration. Okay.